Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment. So salt, that's when you add random characters to a password before it's hashed. Now this stops passwords from having the same value from being cracked because if two people have the same password, let's say it's monkey and the other person has the password monkey, the salt is going to add additional characters and then when it's put through that hashing algorithm such as SHA-256 or bcrypt which is specifically designed for um, passwords, it's going to output completely different from each other even though the password is the same. So the salt value associated with each user's account is typically constant and remains the same for that user. So what that means is that when you generate a password online and that uh, salt is randomly generated, that randomly generated salt is now associated with your password. And so each time you log in, you get that same salt or that same randomness added onto your password and then hashed. And a weakness of that is that the salt is stored next to the hashed password. And so whenever you update your password, you do generate a new salt value example of what I was just telling you. So user registration or password update. When a user registers for an account or that updates their password, a new random salt value is generated specifically only for that user. Now the random salt value is then concatenated with that user's password and then combined and stringed is hashed using a cryptographic hash function. This hash function along with the salt is stored in that database. Now for authentication, when the user attempts to log in, the salt associated with their account is retrieved from the database. Now hashing for authentication. The retrieved salt is then combined with the user's provided password and the resulting string is hashed using the same cryptographic hash function and this new hash value is compared with the stored hash password. Now if the hash value matches the stored password, then the authentication is successful. Bcrypt. Bcrypt is a hash generator for passwords that adds salt to the passwords and then hashes them. It's specifically designed to be used only with passwords versus a general purpose hashing algorithm like MB5 or SHA. You can use that with many things, but Bcrypt specifically designed for passwords. And what it does is it adds salt to the passwords and then hashes them.